To show these fractions on a number line, what we can do is we can figure out how they are relative to some whole numbers. So, for example, we know that this number here is very close to 1, and this one is over 2. We're going to start with 1 quarter, though. In 1 quarter, we can divide up the one whole part on the number line. We can divide that into half here, and then half of half gives us the 1 over 4. So there is our 1 quarter on the number line. We're gonna, I'm going to move to 3 fifths. 3 fifths is going to be somewhere about 60%. So if I do 3 divided by 5, I get 0 0.6. 0 0.6 would probably be somewhere about here on the number line. So this is going to be our 3 over 5. Okay, and again, we're just estimating about where that is. 4 over 3 is a little bit bigger than 1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into thirds because I know it's going to be one whole plus one third. So three over three is one whole. Four gives us one extra third past one. So four thirds is going to be there. Eight ninths. I'm going to do this in a different color here. Eight over nine is going to be pretty close to one. So... I'm going to just kind of estimate it somewhere around here, pretty close to 1. And then lastly, 9 over 4. If I divide 9 divided by 4, I get 2.25. So I know that's going to be you know, somewhere around here, which is 2 and 1 quarter. So that looks like about the same as the 1 quarter I have here. So this is going to be my 9 divided by 4. Okay, so that's, those are those parts on the number line. Again, we're just estimating. We just want to know generally where they are on the number line. For adding fractions or subtracting fractions, we need a common denominator, or in other words, we need the same size fractions. So if I have a 1 half fraction, I'm starting off with a one-half fraction here. There's one-half. And I have a one-quarter fraction. Well, the problem with this is that those two pieces that I've shaded are different sizes. So what I need to do is I need to make the one-half into equivalent size pieces. So I'm going to do that. And that's going to give me two out of four. To show that algebraically, what I'm doing is I'm dividing the top by 4, I'm sorry, dividing the, the numerator or the number of pieces shaded into two equal parts and the two parts whole into groups of two again. So I'm going to top times the top by 2 and bottom by 2. This is going to give me 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. So the answer then is I'm going to end up with 3 over 4. So I'm going to have my two parts shaded like that and my one part shaded like that. And that's going to give me an answer of 3 parts shaded out of 4 parts whole. So that's how we find a common denominator. We just need a multiplier. We first, the common denominator is getting the same size pieces. To do that, we're going to multiply the top and bottom to get the same denominator on both sides. Now, when we have 3 and 5, it's going to be a little bit harder. So what, the way we want to do this is we want to get, find the lowest common denominator. Okay, so I'm just going to make this a little bit more accurate. So there is my one-third fraction. Here's my two-fifths fraction. And to get to add these together, I need the same size pieces. So what I'm going to do is find the lowest common denominator. To do that, I'm going to multiply the 3 by 5. And I have to do the same to the top. And I'm going to end up with 5 over 15. Okay, so that's going to look like this. So 
So this is going to be five parts shaded out of 15 parts whole. It's hard to see. And then for the fifths, I'm going to multiply by three to get the 15. And I have to do the same to the top. And this is going to give me six out of 15. So if I do this by three, I'm now going to have the same size pieces. I can now add together. This is kind of a little bit not drawn very well, but there's going to have same size pieces here are six pieces in green, five pieces in red, or sorry, five pieces in yellow, and that's going to give me 11 pieces total out of 15 parts whole. So when I add this all together, I got my one third pieces. I divide these into five pieces, and then Five of those are from the yellow, and six of those are from the one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six of those are from the green, and that gives me 11 parts total out of 15. 